about to repair Lorimer's for profit? This just come through the post for me. Can't think who sent it to me, Mr. Stamp, Mower Man. See you in a minute. I got a little letter in the post the other day and I thought, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. Anyway, look what he sent me. He was watching my video and where we had a little problem with a spark plug, me and Gary, he sent it to me and Gary in case I need to pick up a few handy tips and tricks. That's Mower Man. Unbelievable. I taught him all what he knows. This is how he repays me. I'm only joking, Paul. Paul's a great friend of mine and... Uh, if you've seen one of my previous videos, you see that we actually done uh, a little vlog together where he come round to my house and we had a little laugh and a joke. And uh, he also done his own version of that on his own channel. Do check out Paul Moe, man. This is his DVD or one of his DVDs that uh, he helps people. He takes them right the way through the procedure for buying and selling lawnmowers, right through to selling them on Facebook, for example. And he's also got other DVDs as well on the Honda lawnmowers and also a masterclass set of, seed, uh, set of DVDs. That's on the repairinglawnmowersforprofit.com website. Have a look at that anyway. And I might give this away, because I think I don't need it, uh, for one of my subscribers. I've got to think about a, a question first of all. Anyway, that's that. Right, so here we go. The trotter lawnmowers over here, as you know. I haven't started assembling them yet. The actual paint's gone, gone off lovely, actually. Let's show you. I'm sure you know that uh, this mower is in demand. I've had loads of people asking me if I'm going to be selling it or what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm going to be doing some more, probably. Might do some more of this one, but uh, as you know, these are just the standard mowers, which we've got, uh, this one was Gary's one, obviously, which was a black Trojan lawnmower, and this one's obviously gonna be repaired. Gary's uh, out and about today, and he's um, and he messaged me on Facebook, and he told me that there was a local lawnmower up for grabs, just come on Facebook, and the woman wanted it for, uh, she wanted 40 pounds for it. So anyway, I put in an offer without even seeing it, apart from the picture that she put on there. She said that it was a runner. She said that the cable had uh, broken on it, the self-drive cable, because it's a self-drive mower. And uh, she bought the cable, but she didn't know how to fit it on, hence her selling it. Anyway, cut a long story short. I went down there. I see the woman, show me the lawnmower, and she's got a brand, let me show you, a brand new cable with it as well. I paid 30 pounds for this. Well, here it is. It's uh, an SP470. One of Mower Man's preferred lawnmowers, he loves these ones. And as you can see, the grass bag actually looks like it's hardly been used. I'm happy with that. And this is what she gave me with it. A brand new, where is it, hold on. Look at that, brand new drive cable to go, to go on it. She said it's had a temporary repair on it, but uh, this has got to be 15 pounds on its own. So that's even worth going for it. Let's have a little look around it. Right, so as you can see, it's uh, totally solid to deck. There's no rot or rust on it whatsoever. And it's uh, obviously been uh, looked at before because someone's taken off the uh, the little sticker there so they can gain access to the screw. And I would imagine it's been serviced by a dealer before because if we come up here on the handle, there's a, a name of a shop basically. And uh, so I would imagine some, she's had it serviced before. But anyway, this is the repair that she's done or her son done. She told me to the cable. She said it does work, but it's not a proper job, obviously, said because the cable is very stiff. So that's the self-drive mechanism. And I've not even tried to start this yet. So uh, looking around it though, it's all there. Typical Mountfield uh, SP470 mower. So I thought we might give it a try and try and start it up. Now this one's the brake by the looks of it, yep. So let's have a go. So there we go everything seems to work on it it runs fast uh, it's running fine just a little bit slow and we can speed that up on the uh, the little arm there for the tick over so that's not a problem whatsoever so basically all i've got to do is to fit a new cable to this 
I'll take this old one off, although it is working, but it just don't look very good at the top there. And she's thrown in the cable for free. So we're going to be doing that. I'll give this a clean up. And uh, basically, that's going to be it. This is going to be on the market very shortly. And as I say, being a self-drive one, it commands more money as well. These things happen. These deals are out there. you just got to find them. Just keep on top of it. Gary's on there all the time, basically, on Facebook Marketplace. And I think he gets a little indication when the keyword lawnmower comes up within a certain area. As I've said before, and he wasn't able to get it today. He passed that one over to me, and I shot down there, and I've got this for £30. Nice profit. Another good selling point for any mower, really, is a decent-looking grass bag or box or whatever. And as you can see, this one is perfect all the way around. Look. The writing's nice and clear and bold on it. The plastic's not been marked at all, and this really, once this is once the plastic's wiped down and it's uh, totally clean, this is going to look fantastic. And again, this is another selling point for uh, a decent mower so let me get it on the worktop now and we'll see if we can change that cable over so one of the first things i'm going to do is obviously disconnect the spark plug always do that when you're working on the lawnmower if you're going to have to go underneath like i am and i've taken the grass box off as you know let's put that to one side and the easiest way to do this is to tip the mower backwards so one of the first things i'm going to do is to actually take the blade off because i need to get this cover off underneath and uh, to do that i'm going to use my impact gun which is a 14 mil socket. Very handy to have an impact gun. There we go, put it in there like that. There we go. That'll take a second with the right tools. And then that means that now I can access the, uh, the bolt that takes the uh, covers off. Again, which is 14 mil. Just slip that nut off of there. There's normally another screw at the back here somewhere, which is down there, which I think is a Phillips screw, if I remember rightly. These tend to be very corroded, these ones, nine times out of ten. So uh, just have a little bit of time in there. And sometimes you can't even undo them. You have to uh, grip hold of them with a pair of um, mole grips or something like that, which I think I'm going to have to do in this case. I can't see the... Uh, I think it's rounded off, so I'm going to get some mole grips. Right, so we just get some mole grips on here. There we go, get on there. There we go. Normally give it a bit of a wiggle, just to loosen it off, which that's actually done now. Open it up. Little things like this can take ages to sort out, but uh, you just got to persevere. It's only a self-tapper. typical what you get with these when they've not been maintained for a long time is that it's full of grass cuttings as you can see there and that in turn can cause the belt to drag and cause issues over here so that's okay the belt actually looks in good nick and it looks like a pretty new boss on there as well so I'm quite happy with that and as you can see up here as well just to show you that people don't clean their mowers out correctly pulling this out of here look all at the front there as well it's absolutely crammed with grass cuttings and I'm gonna to have to dig all of this out as well and you'll probably find as well that you might have a collection of that around the motor as well so you just got to get it all out basically and that's obviously one of the signs that uh, possibly caused the issue with the wheels were still turning when I actually took this apart first of all so even though the handle weren't this it causes a bit of drag basically so and puts more tension on the belt so uh, that's all right so we're just going to get rid of all this have a clean up and uh, I'll see you in a second
okay, these drive cables can be a right pain to get out. Your biggest problem is going to be, as it comes into here, from the top, you have to get this little thing out and you can't get your hand in there unless you remove the tension spring which is on the actual arm of the motor. And that means that you can pull it a bit more this way. And the easiest way that I found, you're okay hooking the spring off inside, but the easiest way I found to literally get this, because you can't get to this because it's behind this wheel here. And the easiest way I found to do it is literally get a pair of pliers in there and literally get the grips to the pliers, the cutting edges, around there like that and literally just lever it out so that these, you're basically forcing them things open. And that's the easiest way to do it that I've found anyway. So uh, otherwise it's going to be a right pain. So once you've actually got the cable out, getting the new cable in isn't too much of a problem, but you've got to then get this spring on and this is going to be the uh, final part of this end of the thing and then you have to hook this spring then back over the motor arm but that's not too hard because we won't have the other end disconnected up at the handle yet so do that handle bit last do the easy bit first and because you've got the slack to do it while the handle is not connected so I'm just gonna have to do that now and I'll see you in a minute <laughs> cable now on and adjusted up as you've seen with the sliding thing there so all that leaves me to do now is to um, give it a good clean up and uh, I'm not going to do that today because I'm just about to watch the England game that's going to start and kick off in a minute so uh, we'll just give it one more start put it on the floor after we put the blade on we've cleaned out all the underneath so that's all well now so I'm just going to put it back together you haven't got to see that you saw me take it apart and I'll just see you in a second and we'll try start it I've done another one baby look this is the one we just picked up put the new cable on. I haven't tidied it up properly yet though but I'll do that all Let's tomorrow that. and I'll give it a service tomorrow so let's get this down on the deck now and uh, see if the drive works as it should do you, my child. oh I've actually got a cold today of all days 25 degrees out what's that all about what's that cold? I've already looked at that Hold on. right now don't forget i haven't serviced this up yet done nothing i'm just checking that the drive works as it should do and i've just got to tighten the handles up as well but uh all in all looks like a good mower right spark plug lead back on the amount of times I've done that I can't believe it <laughs> perhaps I do need Paul's DVD <laughs> ready I can't believe I've done that again Sharon I'm pleased with that. That's going to be another one on sale very, very shortly. It's a very tidy mower. Just wants a little bit of a service, and uh, you ain't got to see that. You've seen me do that enough times. Anyway, there you go. Just shows you can find these little things when it's 25 degrees out here today, when everybody else is probably sitting in their offices or sitting in their places of work or whatever. We're out here, baby, aren't we? In your place of work. In my place of work, in the garden where I want to be. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this video. And what was I going to say? I was going to set a question for Paul Stamps DVD for someone. What can I set? How many lawnmowers do you own in that poly tunnel? 
I don't actually know. That's a good question. Right, there we go. That's the question. Karen lawnmowers in the polytunnel. So it's not fair. So it's saying some of Gary. He's got in total. How many lawnmowers are in the polytunnel as of now? Now we're gonna have to count them, aren't we? And whoever's comment I see first, which is correct, then you win a copy of Mr. Paul Stamps DVD, Mower Man. Get it right. And that could be yours. This could be yours. There you go. That's a good boy. I was gonna give you that for Christmas, baby. Thanks. Or do you think I need to give it to Gary? Yeah, Gary. <laughs> don't forget how many mowers, lawn mowers, completed solid lawn mowers are in the polytunnel. Even I don't know the answer. We're gonna have to go and count them. And we'll declare that on Shout Out Sunday. So that's the first one with the right answer. No, do it again. What? Shout. Out. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye for now. Bye. Unbelievable, baby. Go and count them mowers. No, you.